I am Dr. G. Ramasubramanyam, cardiothoracic surgeon from Care Hospital, Banjara Hills. Today, I would like to tell a few things about atrial fibrillation, that is irregular beating of the heart. The atrial fibrillation will be of more of a rhythm problem, sometimes will be rate problem. These both can produce palpitation to the patient and patient may feel uncomfortable. The problems related to this atrial fibrillation are one, the patient may go into heart failure or sometimes the patient may develop the brain stroke. The prevention of this, uh, this type of uh, things are you have to control the, the cause of this problem. The causes of this atrial fibrillation is due to valvular heart disease, the coronary artery disease and the cardiomyopathies, sometimes dilated hearts. There are, these are the various types of problems which produces atrial fibrillation. Sometimes in an elderly age group also produces atrial fibrillation and day-to-day post-operative patients do develop this type of atrial fibrillation because of low potassium. So to control this atrial fibrillation, we have to treat these problems, especially control the potassium to the normal levels and treat the atrial fibrillation with the drugs, that is medical management with the cardrone. And to prevent the stroke, these atrial fibrillation patients should continue to use uh, uh, anticoagulation and antiplatelets and sometimes uh, left atrial appendage closures are at advisable. And some of these patients with atrial fibrillation more symptomatic and develops has a stroke, these people can be managed with the help of the EPT. We can endocardially ablate the left atrium and to prevent the atrial fibrillation. The other way of management is surgical. During surgery, we try to do maze operation to control the atrial fibrillation to convert it to normal sinus rhythm and also some patients require left atrial appendage closure percutaneously and to have a to prevent all these things sometimes these patients require good healthy habits like um, good diet with little higher potassium food contents the second one is uh, decrease the obesity that also produce sometimes atrial fibrillation and then anxiety those things should be uh, avoided to have a proper control of atrial fibrillation and whenever needed without uh, delay the patients should consult the cardiologist and then take the proper advice and continue medication especially in patients with chronic atrial fibrillation they have to continue medication, both uh, rhythm control drugs and uh, rate control drugs lifelong. Thank you.